Senate lawmakers grilled Postmaster General Louis DeJoy over his recent cost-cutting measures to the Postal Service. Democrats say those measures could delay in mail-in voting ahead of the November general election and boost President Trump's re-election chances. ABC News has the full breakdown. You swear the testimony you will give before this committee will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. After weeks of controversy and public uproar, U.S. Postmaster General Louis DeJoy facing lawmakers Friday to address changes he's overseen at the Postal Service during the pandemic and their potential impact on millions of voters in the upcoming election. As we head into the election season, I want to assure this committee and the American public that the Postal Service is fully capable and committed to delivering the nation's election mail securely and on time. This sacred duty is my number one priority between now and Election Day. But Democrats believe changes DeJoy has enacted, including removing mail sorting equipment from some communities and limiting overtime hours, has had the opposite effect, already resulting in numerous complaints from Americans about delays in their mail service. I went almost a week without medication after I'd finished up my doses I had and the three day extras that I had for emergency. Uh, it was almost a week that I didn't have that heart medication. Cindy DeTangle is with the American Postal Workers Union. I'm hearing from our members that mail are being left unworked, sitting on the workroom floors. On Friday, DeJoy acknowledged reports of delays in the country, particularly in urban areas, are real and tied to the coronavirus. A substantial portion of our delays are related to COVID, and we have days where we're short 200 200 carriers, and this can go on for a, a, a while. Following the public backlash this week, DeJoy suspended the changes he made, which he said were to save money. But despite complaints from consumers and Congress, he has no plans to undo them. It's insignificant. It's not material to anything that we do, and um, it, we're sticking with the, where we're at right now. And this is not yet over. The inspector general over the Postal Service is now investigating the changes DeJoy has made. Meanwhile, DeJoy is scheduled to testify in another congressional hearing, this one on the House side, on Monday. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.